This is a previously failed case. This time the same operator, not me, is using interventional uh, tools and techniques. This is the initial venogram. And we start with a Cook Amplat support wire technique. The support wire is an option with a 9 French whirly sheath, but not device company sheaths. With the support wire in place, the sheath is withdrawn to provide unrestricted access to the target vein and a stable uh, CS access. We then combine the hook vein selector with an, a 5.5 renal subselector. Remember that vein selectors are not provided by the device company. The hook vein selector is at an advance beyond the takeoff of the target vein. The vein selector is turned laterally toward the target vein and withdrawn. A puff of contrast from the injection system confirms that the vein selector engaged the vein. It is important to use a contrast injection system and not just a syringe because you want to be able to open the rotating hemostatic valve to advance a wire uh, into the target vein once you've engaged the vein. We start off with a, a 0.014 light support polymer tip wire. A stiff wire would displace the vein selector. A wire without a polymer tip would displace the vein selector. Once the, vein, once the wire is in, the tip of the vein selector is advanced over the wire a few millimeters into the vein. Now you can see the tip of the hook vein selector is in. Then a second wire is advanced into the vein, this time an 018 polymer tip wire, the V18 control wire. The combination of the two wires uh, straightens the vein selector and makes it possible uh, to advance the vein selector deep into the branch. Without the po proper polymer tip wires, this is not possible. The vein selector is then advanced uh, over the two wires uh, deep into the vein, as illustrated here. And then the LVI slub selector, uh, the tip is here, is advanced over the vein selector. Remember what that vein looked like, uh, but with this a technique we've been able to straighten it out and reduce the uh, stenosis. The rail created by the double wire stabilized vein selector made all of this possible. When you inject contrast, you can see that there's a bit of a residual stenosis, and ultimately this made it impossible to advance beyond that point. If necessary, we could dilate that with a 3 millimeter non-compliant balloon. The vein selector is removed, uh, retaining the wires, and then the 0.014 inch wire is removed, and the LV lead is advanced over the 0.018 inch wire. Remember, only the Medtronic lead will advance over a 0 .08, 0 0.08 wire. The tip electrode remains stable and captured at, point, at 0 0.5 volts at 0.5 milliseconds with a QLV of 120 milliseconds uh, and no phrenic pacing. The teaching points are outlined here. Um, I listed the equipment that was necessary in this case, uh, and I think it's important to reiterate that if you make the effort to acquire the tools and learn the techniques, you can take control and stop being a victim of the anatomy. The device company simply cannot provide the tools necessary for difficult cases. If you take the time and effort uh, you expend to adopt interventional CRT, you'll save time in the long run and it will provide uh, endless job satisfaction.